You have done well, Pathfinder. You grow more powerful with each great one you kill. But your mounting power also draws danger. Beware. Beware of what? Others who seek to harness the power of the OE. There has been a fundamental shift in the amount of Stardust energy being channeled to the material world. To what end? I don't know. My fear is that the lesson, having been taught once, was not learned. Those who reach too far, too fast, risk destroying us all. Rosetta is up to their old tricks, you mean? It would appear so. Something big, and potentially quite dangerous. Okay. I will keep an eye out. Good. I need you to tell me something. If I am able. What happened during the raid on Rosetta's HQ? That is not important. The future is what matters. The future is all that matters. I need to know. I need to understand. A tragic accident that, regrettably, proved deadly. Mind expanding on that a little? I know you were there. You were a part of it, whatever it was. The Living Silver Gate. Codename Butterfly. I haven't heard that name in forever. That is how they referred to me. Never by my real name. It was a very, very long time ago. Not so long ago. For you, the time since the raid can be measured in months. But in Rift Space, where time is relative, it has been centuries for me. What happened? Tell me, please. I was abducted by Rosetta as a child. They experimented on me by exposing me to large concentrations of stardust energy. I survived. I evolved. I became a bridge between two worlds, able to channel rift space from within myself. What happened on that day? I was being held in isolation. They thought I was dangerous, but I was only a little child, scared and alone. Suddenly, armed men and women busted down the door to my cell. I reacted on instinct without thinking, without knowing what I was doing. Only hoping to defend myself. How did you react? I retreated. Into rift space. In the process, I enveloped all those around me in that same space. You were the only one capable of surviving in that environment. With my help, I was able to bring you back, along with V to this world. Why did you bring us back? To be agents of change. To help transform our world. To save it. I am sorry about your friends. I meant no harm. Thank you for telling me. You are welcome. But now you must go. Our work has barely begun, and there is much ground to cover. Stay the course, Pathfinder. Be true to your name. Mayfly, Doug told me to wait for you here after the light on the monolith went out. Who's Doug? What about Hot Dog? Yeah, Doug Holt. That's Hot Dog's real name. We started calling him that after the whole Hot Dog incident, and I guess he really decided to roll with it. Here you go. We actually scraped together some extra batteries as a thank you gift. Oh, thank you. But wait, what Hot Dog incident? Ah, don't worry about it. Anyway... Hot Dog slept less than anyone else these past two months. The minute you solved our problem, he basically just passed out. Well, 
dude may be a goofball, but he can really come through in a crisis. The Holtz used to be a pretty big deal around here, and he's definitely lived up to the family name. I'm glad we decided to trust him. Just like he chose to trust you. Hey, Mayfly. I need to discuss something serious with you. Good, you found me. You don't have an escape plan yet, do you? This world we're on can't hold together much longer. It's regrettable, but you'll need to leave before that happens. To another world, of course. This world we're on can't hold together much longer. It's regrettable, but you'll need to leave before that happens. To another world, of course. This world we're on can't hold Imagine together this much world longer. We're living in is it's like regrettable, but floating through you'll space need to time. leave before that One happens. of many. Sometimes they merge with other bubbles, then split apart, changed forever. But eventually, each of these bubbles pops, and you don't want to be in them when they do. This world we're on can't hold together much longer. It's regrettable, but you'll need to leave before that happens. You've helped me out, so I'm going to return the favor by giving you something special. This ring holds a very unique key. It will let you travel to a safe haven all your own. A place called Eternal Land. You'll be able to use other keys to travel to other worlds as well. Don't worry, you'll know what to do when the time comes. I've already told you. I'm a scholar, and you've been very helpful to my studies. Consider this an act of gratitude, as well as an investment in the future. Hopefully we can continue to work together. So this is the place that guy was talking about. Eternal was not much to look at. Take a look around, I guess. Figure out if this place really is a safe haven. On the way over here, I noticed a building in the center of the island. Let's head there first. Once we're sure this place is safe, we can bring Mitsuko over. This place feels peaceful. I can't sense any stardust, memetics, anything. It's like we're frozen in time. Thank you. 
So this is the place that guy was talking about? Eternal land? It's not much to look at. Take a look around, I guess. On the way over here. Let's start. Thank you, Meta. This place is beautiful. Even the air tastes sweeter. But how is it possible? A place where I can't feel the flow of time. I can't change anything here either. It's not source. It's just... sand. Very much so. Any materials you bring from the outside world cannot be used directly here. You need to use astral sand to create. You can make all kinds of things with astral sand. It's easy. Here, let me show you. We can start by fixing this place up. This world is in a constant state of flux, you see. If what we want is astral sand, all we need to do is speed up that process. And now, the transformation. With that done, we can build whatever we like. Maybe you could start with the roof. Good work, Meta. But here's the best bit. Astral sand isn't just for construction. On this island, you can also use it to manipulate nature itself. Give it a shot. Try planting a tree.
arrived just in time. Come on over here. Hey, Claire. Didn't expect to see you here. How's business? Not great. I thought I'd be able to take it easy here. Start writing this history of the world before Starfall that I'd been planning. But instead... What? Did you just arrive at the Tall Grass Inn? You haven't heard the rumors about the Silent Beast? Silent Beast? No, I just got here. But whatever animal we're talking about can't be that bad compared to... You ever hear of an animal that can appear out of nowhere in locked rooms in the middle of a stronghold and then steal people away without anyone noticing? No, I guess I haven't. Well, you have now. They call it the Silent Beast because it comes and goes without a trace. This thing's no ordinary animal. It could... It could even be a great one. Has anybody actually seen this animal? It could just be an urban legend. The disappearances are real enough, and whatever's taking people seems to prey on the elderly. And once it runs out of those, it might start hankering for a middle-aged merchant instead, know what I mean? But someone must be doing something about it. What about the leader here? Oh. That's a whole other story. Sums off about that guy. No matter how many people disappear, he just pretends nothing's wrong. Really? If you want, you can ask him about it yourself at the management building. His name's Klein. I already tried talking to him, but the jerk just chased me off. You're a mayfly. That's right. Is your name Klein? I heard you're the mayor of the Tall Grass Inn. I am? What do you want? I heard rumors about a silent beast here. Sounds like there's something strange going on, and I think I'm well equipped to- Don't bother, we're fine. So you don't believe what people are saying about this silent beast? There's been a few disappearances over the past six months, that's all. They probably just left. All this stuff you might hear about some creature breaking in without anyone noticing its bunch of bull. People get bored and scared, start making up crap. But people have disappeared, right? Don't you think you should look into it? Why stir up trouble? There's all kinds of things out there. We could end up drawing the attention of deviants, or even worse, a great one. It's like if you're out hunting. You're not going to charge after a bear that could kill you. Now better to leave it be. I hope it leaves you alone, too. So you're saying these rumors aren't true, but you're also too scared to investigate? Are your people really okay with this? Listen, I'm not scared. I'm smart. And the people here, they just want to keep their heads down and live in peace. If you go poking around and get killed by a great one, you could bring disaster down on all our heads. All right, have it your way. It may fly. Yeah? Uh. Welcome to the Tallgrass Inn. As long as you're here as a regular traveler, you're welcome to stay and share what we have. Just don't worry about all this silent beast business, okay?
how can the people here accept a leader who just ignores it when one of them disappears? Humans tend to prefer comforting lies to hard truths, especially when it's other people who do the dying. So what? We should just put up with it? I mean that it doesn't matter to us how he behaves. I suspect there's a great one here, and we don't need his permission to challenge it. People reconcile themselves to power. If you show enough of it, they'll support you instead of the mayor here. <laughs> kind of disturbing worldview you got there, V. Anyway, why don't we see if Claire has anything else she can tell us? At least her head seems screwed on right. The head of a vulture gang. Sounds about right. What did he do to earn a bounty? Better to ask what he didn't do. This villain has quite the list of crimes to his name. The crimes named on this bounty are only a fraction of what he's done, but there's no question that they're worth prosecuting. So, did you talk to the mayor? Yep, you were right. Something's off about that guy. He kept saying nothing was wrong, but then also insisted I shouldn't look into it. You see, I told you something strange was going on here. I'm starting to suspect there might be even a great one involved. I'd better look into the problem before things get worse. You've got a big heart, you know that? Just like in Deadsville, I'll see who I can put you in touch with here. Not everyone's playing as dumb as Klein. I'll also see if I can raise some funds. You deserve something for helping us, especially if a great one is behind this. Uh, thanks, Claire. But what I really need is just more info on this so-called silent beast. Well, maybe check out the Sequoia campgrounds to the northwest of here. Keep going for a while, and it's on the other side of the ridge. What's up with the campgrounds? Did the silent beast strike there, too? Uh, honestly, I don't really know. I just know that the locals here act all weird about it. Anytime I ask people if there are any artifacts in the mountains to the northwest, well, they always get nervous and refuse to say anything else. But... I found an old map showing that there's a campground in the mountains there. And I found out a few years ago the people at the Tall Grass Inn were using it as a logging camp. But for some reason they abandoned it. Huh. What's with that look on your face? You know, Claire, you really have a nose for information. If you ever decided to deal in intelligence instead of selling artifacts, you'd be set for life. You still taking on extra work? Are you looking for material for your book? As long as you've got the money, I'll find the time to look for them. That's good, cause I've got my eye on a care center west of here. What am I looking for there? Expired meds? Some kind of surgical equipment? It's not quite what you think. The place is actually something called a nursing home. We don't have them anymore, but... Those are where people used to be put when they got old. I'm trying to understand how people took care of the elderly and the dying before Starfall. Why don't you see if you can dig up a nursing manual or something similar for me? 